Uh, uh oh. I don't know how to get out of here. Let's go this way. I think it's this way, right? I'm a little bit lost. Oh shit! That's the crash fish! Ah, run away! Welcome back, everybody, to Subnautica Sub Zero. I'm an old guy gaming, and it has literally just been a few seconds since I left you in the last episode. I have so much fun playing this, so we're going to do another episode. Uh, keep in mind, though, that this will be episode two for you guys, and I have not seen your comments from episode one, uh, but I will when uh, we release the video. Okay, so let's uh, let's get started. But right before we get started, though, I just want to make a quick announcement. If you guys find yourself enjoying this video, if you find value in the video, it's entertaining you, you're learning from it, and you're just playing having a good old time please consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already if you have thank you very much really appreciate it and liking the video those things don't cost you anything at all and they do help the channel and i greatly appreciate it also uh know that we do have a membership here on the channel uh, hit that join button take a look at the three tiers and the perks that they offer and if that looks like something you'd be interested in i'd be glad to have you as a member finally thank you very much for taking your time out of your busy day to watch an old guy gaming all right let's get started uh very excited guys so let's uh, head on out um and like i said it's just been a few sec well it's probably been more like a couple of minutes but i haven't really done anything um there's actually a couple of logs i want to take a look at first uh, so let's look at those remember um you know those of you guys who don't like going through all the logs and the story mode stuff you can simply just fast forward the video okay let's see we got these two uh, new uh, personal logs here so let's check it out nervous about dropping into an unknown area but luckily this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals i can use for tools and upgrades i didn't want another situation like Byzantos five when xeno orcs dropped me off there were barely any resources i survived off the land for three months with just a knife my lucky pda and some rope i am still kind of proud of that though sounds like a rough time in goes a battery and titanium out comes a scanner Every xenobiologist's favorite tool. This planet has some fascinating flora and fauna, and I can't wait to learn about them. This will also give me access to a greater tool set. I'm assuming Altera left behind tech that I can scan for blueprints. That should make surviving and exploring out here a bit easier. Don't worry, Sam. I haven't forgotten I'm here for you. But it can't hurt to do a little research on the side, right? I know you would have done the same. I will find out what happened to you. I promise. Okay. Um, anything new here? So this is all just our tech stuff. Uh, we, we know about the sea glide, but we already know what all that stuff does anyways, unless it does something new from the last time. Uh, so nothing else in the personal log, nothing in survival. Anything new here? I don't think so. I think we're good to go. Um, so these are just the voice logs that we've already listened to. Okay, I think we're good. Let's head out. Makes me wonder if this weather, um, uh, you know, aside from temperature, is it dangerous to be out in this, some of this weather? I mean, it almost looks like hail. Hmm, I don't know. All right, well, we're going to stay in the water for this episode, most likely. So what I want to do is we need to find the sulfur stuff. And now that we have the scanner, um, you know, we can start scanning some things. We did find some sea glide parts. So if we can scan enough of those then we can, um, you know, make ourselves a sea glide, which, of course, is going to allow us to travel travel around more. Is that a thing? Okay, so let's go. Continue grabbing resources. Hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. I sure enjoyed playing it. This game is just loads of fun. Okay, so here's a sea glide piece. Okay, so we scan one of the three parts that we need to scan Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining okay we're not going to use our little bladder thing unless we get ourselves into trouble Ooh, there's a kind of an interesting looking plant down there we'll go scan that because i isn't the bladder thing a one-time use i don't know maybe we better check that out anyways let's go see what this plant is this looks interesting Kind of looks dangerous. Oh no, that's the oxygen plant, right? Can we scan it though? Research oxygen plant. Tab, press to view. This oxygen plant produces a harvestable reserve of oxygen in its bioluminescent floating bulb. 
It's hypothesized that this attracts territorial air-breathing fauna forming a symbiotic relationship that protects the plant from herbivorous fish. Assessment underwater source of breathable oxygen useful in free diving scenarios. Okay, let's take some O2. Yes, we are uh, we are definitely going to take time to stop and smell the flowers with this playthrough. So if you guys are the uh, the kind of viewer that likes to go through things as fast as possible, you're watching the wrong dude, man, because we're going to have fun. We're going to just chill, relax, have fun, enjoy the game. That's what we're going to do. Oh, I guess I could scan. The Ooh, that looks kind of like a, almost like a diamond or something. Okay, that gets a little deeper. Oh, you know what, though? Uh, how's our O2? Yeah, let's hit this Warning. really quick. 30 seconds of oxygen oh, remaining. shit. We might have to use our bladder. Here, let's just use it. Oh! It... Oh, neat! Okay, so we can actually reuse this. Amazing! I completely forgot about that. And then it just refills once we get to the surface. Oh, that's awesome! Okay, that means we can go a little deeper now. We can go a little deeper. So we have another oxygen plant way the hell down here, so let's just go way the hell down here. Because we need to find, um... Can we scan this? Oh yeah, that's coral. We already know that. Well, let's scan it anyway, because, you know, we're going to need another one of these anyway. Okay. Yeah, let's get some more of this coral. We can get some O2 down here, Warning. but... Passing 100 meters. Oxygen Ox efficiency decreased. Oh, that's not good. Okay, but we have an O2 plant here. So let's grab it right now, and let's get some more coral. Warning: thirty seconds of oxygen All right, I think, I think we're gonna need to use this. We probably could have made it, but we might as well use it, right? Because it refills itself. So what the hell, right? Okay. Um. So, what are our priorities? We've got to think about what our priorities are. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep getting uh, squirreled in here and <laughs> look at, looking at this and that and not get a damn thing done and have fun doing it, too. Okay, this is more of that Galena stuff, but that just seems to give us titanium. We need to... Oh, you know what our, our priority is? We need to find the third sea glide piece. That's our priority. I think... I think we've already scanned that one, right? Two of three. Okay. What about this? Oh, we, we learned it. Okay, good, good. What's this? Grav trap. Oh, yeah, I remember Warning. the grav trap. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, this bladder is freaking awesome, man. Woo! <laughs> wow! That was fun. <laughs> okay, so we know the... Um, the Sea Glide blueprint, so let's... Can we look? We should be able to look at that from here, right? Yeah, okay, so what do we need for this? We have... I think we have everything. We just need a little bit more copper. We have a lubricant. We can make batteries. We've got lots of titanium. Okay, uh, how much copper do I have? I've got two pieces. Okay. Let, let's do this. Let's start working our way back towards our pod, but... We'll hit some more copper and whatever else we can along the way. What's that thing? Warning. 30 oh, seconds shit. of oxygen remaining. Oh, they didn't they didn't appreciate that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not gonna pick up eggs right now because the problem with picking up eggs in the early game is they just take up space. I don't think you can do anything with them for a while. So yeah, let's not mess with those. All right, that's a more sea glide, uh, another sea glide fragment. Pick that up. More titanium. Oh, there's lead. Okay, so you can get other things from the Galena besides just the the titanium. Yeah, we'll grab a ribbon plant. Why not? Where's all the crash fish at? We gotta still have crash fish. 
Maybe I'm just not... We gotta go into like a little tunnel to find the crash fish. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeehaw! There's our place. Alright, we'll grab a few more outcroppings close to home here. Gonna find a crash fish down in here. Once we get the, the sea glide going, we're gonna go check out that emergency supply cache. What did we just get? Oh, more copper. Okay. Oh, uh, we must have harvested that corpse and or, or quartz rather and dropped it. That's a sea glide fragment. Okay. Oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. I guess we were close. <laughs> we were like right underneath the surface. Alright, let's see if we can make ourselves a sea glide, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, do we wait a minute, do we need to make the the deployable thing first? I don't think we do. Maybe we do. Oh, yeah, shoot. I think we... No, we can make it here. We can make it here. Okay, so we need lubricant and copper wire. Gotcha. So we have lubricant and we have copper wire. Oh, it's time for sea glide, ladies and gentlemen. Woot, woot. What's this? That's a grab tap. Tra trap. Grab trap. There she is. The sea glide is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. Fan freaking tastic. Okay, it does take up some a little bit of space too, but not too much. All right, so we're going to put the sea glide in place of the light since um, it has its own light. And I think we're going to probably just store the rest of this stuff for now, but we're probably going to have to make a. Uh, one of those external storage things. Well, no, actually, let's turn all the quartz into glass. And um, can we make a processor? No, because we, we haven't found gold yet. Okay. Okay, let's make another copper wire just to free up some space with that. And we'll make glass. And then we're going to take the seat glide out, and we're going to go see if we can find that cache and see what's in it. Okay, so let's put the coral in here. That can go in there. We might end up needing to turn some of that titanium into... Here, we can drink... Oh, no, wait. Uh, into one of those containers just to free up space and to have more storage space, of course. So we couldn't turn here. We need, oops, we need two of those for another glass, right? Wait a minute. Didn't I just pick up two quartz? Oh no, I put them in here. Duh. Okay. Let's put the glass in there. All about inventory management. All about the inventory management. Okay, so we'll put this glass in here um do i want to burn up more copper at this point or not no let's not let's keep let's keep the copper and i think what we're going to do is let's make one of the storage lockers and that will we're just going to put titanium inside of okay so let's go here i don't remember how much space these have in them i don't think they have a ton of space okay now, let's go outside, and we're just going to put the storage locker uh, here. Okay. 
Wait, what? No, I don't want to pack it up. How do I open it? Oh, you got to kind of open it from the top. Okay. Oh, there's a decent amount of space in there. Okay, we'll put all this titanium in here. Okay. I think we're good. Let's drink. Uh, no. Let's drink. We have to be out of there. And we have one disinfected water, which gives us more. And we have a nutrient block, which gives us plenty of food. So I think we're good to go adventuring now. Oh, you know what though? We should we need a we should have an extra battery for the sea glide. But let's uh let's make an, an extra battery. So the battery needs the ribbon plant and the copper ore. I think we needed two of those and two of those, maybe? Oh no, just one copper. So two plants, one copper. Yeah, we want to take an extra battery with us just in case our sea glide runs out of juice and we're out and about. We don't want to be caught out without that. Okay, I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to go. Maybe what we ought to do though is just go grab a couple of fish just to top off our, our food. Um so that way we you know we don't eat the the nutrient bar until we absolutely need to, you know what I mean? I'll grab a couple more of those, but I want the actual regular fish, not the bladder fish so much. Probably one more and we're good. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. No, that's not what I meant. I want you. There we go. Okay. We grabbed another thing of titanium. Oh, we can change the name on this too. Nice. Okay. Yeah, let's put that extra titanium in there. And we're just going to make some little extra food and water from these fish, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, let's eat this, and let's eat this, and we're good to go on food and pretty good to go on hydration. We'll, we'll hang on to that, but we'll probably forget about it, and it'll go bad, but that's okay. All right, here we go. Sea glide time. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's beautiful. Toggle map F. Okay, yeah, let's turn the map off. Toggle lights, right mouse button. I'll bet the lights probably use the battery quicker though so let's not uh, get crazy with that all right where's that thing at this way okay we're going this way we're gonna go check out this emergency supply cache now we can move now we can move through the water I wonder how deep that thing is whoa 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 what the hell's that what was that is this thing hostile? Here. A brine wing? Okay, what are you? A sea monkey. Are you? Some of the wildlife down here is very grabby. <sighs> he took my hey, he took my thing. What what just happened? Something what? Give me my thing. Oh shit! I forgot about Eric. <laughs> oh no! I forgot about Eric again. Oh no! Oh no! Did we lose? Oh, this is gonna suck so bad. If we lost our sea glide, no, we didn't lose our sea glide. Okay, we didn't lose our scanner or our sea glide. Oh, it didn't say we lost anything actually. Okay, we got attacked by something called a symbiote, I think it said. And that damn sea monkey took our thing, man. What the hell? Alright. Well, let's just go again. Maybe we better stay closer to the surface or something? I don't know. <laughs> Gets a little more dangerous the further out we get. It does indeed. 
And um, watch your O2 this time, old guy. O2. It's important. You need it. Okay, well, this is the area we were in before the shit hit the fan. So let's make sure we get our... Altera beacon signature detected. Unique identifier. Delta station dock. Interesting. Delta, Delta station, station dock. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. Stay away from me, stupid monkey. Emergency supply cache. All right, what do we got here? That's, um... Yeah, that's a scan. Mineral detector fragment. Oh, nice. I don't think we had mineral detectors in the first game, did we? I don't remember it. Okay, we'll take a first aid kit. New blueprint, New blueprint synthesized. synthesized. Got a flare. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, here, let's just use this. I guess we weren't that far underneath. Oh, wow, look at that iceberg. Oh, we're... Oh, that's cool. We're kind of like inside of a lagoon kind of thing. Is there a way to get to the shore? Doesn't look like it. Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay. Let's go back down and look some more in case we miss something. There's more things down here that we can... Uh, loot too. What is this? Okay, that's a disinfected water. You stay away from me, monkey. I got a knife. Don't mess with me. Oh, nice. We got a, a PDA. Okay, we'll read that later. What's this? Oh, that's the beacon. Oh, we can pick it up. Nice. Hey, hey, stay away. Show or hide the signals of your choice with your Xenoworks PDA. Now with surface support. You son of a... Give me that back, you bastard. I was trying to knife him. Mm. Give it to me. Can you not hurt these guys? There we go. That'll learn you. Oh, shit. Look down there. Oxygen. That looks a little sinister. Those monkeys are a pain in the ass, man. Oh, there's more crates and stuff down here, too. Okay, did we finish looting everything up here? I think we did. And we scanned a mineral scanner. Okay. Okay, there's more stuff down there, but let's, let's get our air back again before we head down there. Okay, let's go. Use this so we can get down quicker. Okay, there's another food bar. That's good. And this is more disinfected water. That looks a little creepy down there, man. Is that where we're going to find the crash fish? That looks a little creepy. Got some more lead. I think we did have lead, actually, in the first game. Now I think about it. Remember, I haven't seen you guys' comments yet, so... If you're going, I already told you that. Well, no, you actually, you haven't. <laughs> okay. Let's get back up for some air. Alright, let's go a little deeper. And see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into down here. This does not look safe. Just gonna throw that out there. What's making that noise? There's an oxygen plant. What's this thing? A radiant sieve coral. Press tab to view. Light emitting plant is reminiscent of a sieve or a colander. Oh, okay. Ooh, what's this? Salt! We need salt. Is that a crash fish right there? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen okay. remaining. We're going, we're going. Oh shit, how do we get out of here? 
Uh, uh oh. I don't know how to get out of here. Let's go this way. I think it's this way, right? I'm a little bit lost. Oh, shit. That's the crash fish. Ah, run away. Oh, we got away from him. <laughs> we found a crash fish. All right. That was a little scary, man. I, I kind of got a little disoriented, got a little lost, turned the wrong way. Thank God there was oxygen plants down there. That's all I got to say. Thank God. Okay. Let's come here and can we eat this fish? We're going to lose a little water, but we have lots of water. So, yeah, let's eat that. Yeah, yeah, gross. I know I have these, but I want to kind of save those. Okay, let's, let's drink the cheap water. A violet bow seed. Oh, can we use that, like, later on to plant stuff, maybe? Hmm, I don't know. Okay. So, we found where the crash fish live. Is this where we were? Yeah. All right, what's that? Oh. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. We need that. We're going to need that. What's this? Argentine. Oh, silver. Nice. We need silver, too. Okay, so this is a good place to come. More salt. All right. Now, before we go in there, let's air up again. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now, we need to try not to get lost this time. Oh, there's more salt here. Let's just pick up a bunch of salt right now before we even go back down in there because that we can use for making food and and better water, I believe. Are these anything? Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a fish! Wow! Check that thing out, man! A Titan whole fish! A large docile herbivore which emits oxygen Warning. and is defended by small aggressive symbiotes. You emit oxygen? Can I get some air? Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. Okay, where's these symbiote things? I think one of them attacked me before. You stay away from me, monkey. You son of a... That's cool. All right, we can get O2 from those guys. All right. Let's go back down. So we found salt. What else what else have we found here? Let's go here. Mostly just salt so far. Oh, and we did find one thing of silver ore. Okay, good. I want to get some more silver ore cuz we need it for a couple of things. But we'll also pick more salt and quartz, too. Oh, there's another uh, Graviton, Gravatar, Grab Trap fragment thing. Nice! We learned the Grab Trap. Okay, so this Grab Trap thing, if I remember right, Sea Truck. Neat. Yeah, it pulls, it pulls stuff Warning. to it, right. Okay. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's go get some O2. Yeehaw! I, I like... Oh, look at that. Is that dangerous? Frost anemone. Grows on the underside of ice flows and icebergs. The anemone's tendrils are covered in thin, stinging hairs that paralyze small fish and plankton and old guys. Uh, that are broken down for nutrients. These tendrils should be trimmed to effectively harvest the edible heart. Assessment. Carefully harvest for high nutritional value. Carefully harvest. Oh. You just pick it up? Okay. Wasn't that dangerous. What the hell? A 
That sounds like a distress call. Transmission of unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. Interesting. Okay. We're going to have to check that out later. Oxygen. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Oxygen. Okay. Let's go get some O2. Okay, so we just picked a frost anemone thing. This gives 10 food and 20 H2O. Nice. Okay. Um, didn't we pick a couple of those, though? I guess not. I thought we did. Nice weather. Oh, my God, it's dark. <laughs> oh, scary. Scary, scary, scary. Okay, this is where old guy gets a little bit more scared. <laughs> scared at night time. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, let's just uh, let's be cool. Just be cool. All right, I want to get some more silver. We got to get some more silver. So far, we've only found it down in this thing here. Got to make sure we don't friggin' get turned around, though, and can't get out of here. That's just more quartz. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, let's grab some O2 from that guy. Oh, what are these? Root pustule? Ooh, that sounds terrible. Oh, what am I doing? Oxygen! Get the hell out of here, quick! Oh. Whew. Okay. <laughs> that was close. That was close. Look at this, man. This is cool. I oh wow, what's that thing over there? I um that was a total case of curiosity killed the cat. You know what I'm saying? I was like so absorbed in root pustules that I completely forgot about my oxygen. All right, we got to go check this thing out over here. Has come this way. Wait, how? What? Can I not get up on these icebergs? Or is it because I've got the sea glide? What the hell? All right, what is this thing? Yeah, that looks like hail. I scan this? Huh. That's bizarre. That is bizarre. Okay, well, we we need to get back because we're, we're full up. I wish I could have found some more silver, but we'll find more later. So I can just, like, swim right through the iceberg. Interesting. All right, let's go underneath here. We're at 67% power on our sea glide, so we do need to keep an eye on that. Let's grab a couple more of these, because why not, right? Inventory. Oh, inventory's full. Okay, never mind. We're kind of hungry, but we're not starving, so. That looks different. Is this a texture glitch? Yeah, I think that's a texture glitch. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. All 
Okay, well, let's head back to uh, our camp here. This seems like a, a different kind of biome or something. We're 160 meters away from our our place. Just kind of curious what this is all about here. It gets deep quick. Dark and deep. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. That's interesting. Is that supposed to be that way or do we have texture issues going on here? That doesn't look right. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, that doesn't look right. Wow, look at that sky. Yeah, I think we have some bad texture glitch, glitch stuff going on here. Let's get back to our, our thing. Kind of have a feeling like we're out in an area we're probably not supposed to be in right now. <laughs> Where scary things happen. Oh, we've... Yeah, we've got problems, guys. We've got big problems. Weird. Okay. Yeah, that's really weird. I wonder if it had something to do with me swimming through, you know, right through the icebergs or something. Okay. Well, let's head on in. Is it fixed now? Nope, it's still screwed up. Okay, we're gonna have to reboot. But we're uh, we're done. Uh, we get we need to wrap up the episode now anyway. So, okay. Well, guys, that was a fun adventure. And uh, so what I'm going to probably do off camera is I'm probably going to just spend a little bit of time off camera and just gather some resources up in and near, you know, near the base here uh, without getting too crazy about it um, before we start the next episode uh, so that we can go out and do some more exploration and continue having fun in this game. we got to go to this Delta Station dock and we need to work on getting the, the mobile base thingy built so that we can um, make the... You know, the little mini submarine thingamadoodle. Um, and that's going to let us travel a lot a lot better than just using, uh, you know, the sea glide. So that is it for this episode. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. Uh, take a look at the join button and uh, see, look at the membership program. We do have three tiers that we offer uh, with different perks at each tier. So take a look at that. If that's something you think you'd like to be a part of, I'd be glad to have you as a member. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.